think when records are released, as soon as they leave your hands, it's it's no longer your record. It's the public's record because you, you that's you know like you you create the record for yourself and you know to to for whatever cathartic reasons or whatever and then as soon as it's out of your hands it's it's, it's off limits now it's the the public's job to like take it in and, and make their own kind of memories with it and like putting my finger on like well we would change this and change that i feel like would just be like i don't know like i, I don't know if there's anything i would change i mean like it, it's like it's like one of those things it's just kind of a snapshot of where we were at the time and like i'm Personally, like I'm completely detached from that record just because like as soon as it came out It was like I said, it, it's not my record anymore saying that I would change something back then now having experienced two whole entire years of life since Releasing that record. I don't know if that would be a fair thing for me to do So I don't really think I would change anything if I could change anything about it would maybe be how I handled My hand in writing it. It was such a weird thing because it was it was almost so hard to get out that like a lot of it came to me very very late like especially in the like the lyrical department like it just like some of it was just just the rawest last minute emotional stuff that i could that i could kind of fathom after touring the record for for two for years i, I didn't know what i was writing at the time and then i i could kind of figured it out later maybe if i had i had done things at a slower pace it, it would have I, I could have been a little sharper but maybe that wouldn't have been the best thing for it too I don't know so I mean, at the end of the day like I don't think it, it would be fair of us to change things if we could I think that's that's part of the growth of a band is I mean like we look back on our first record and you know I mean it we're it's we're totally different thing now you know there's little things little technical things here and there you know little little edits here and there that like only i will notice because like i made them we're here two years later still torn on it so i think i'm pretty happy with how with how it turned out honestly still on our previous record monarchy uh we had had a really really difficult time uh, holding, you know, we've, we've been through three drummers on that cycle, like we had personnel issues, we had issues getting, you know, tours getting cancelled and just all this, it, it was it was a tough, it was a tough album cycle for us, so I think uh, since we were writing Where I Was Know My Name during that album cycle, during the Monarchy cycle, um, I think, you know, we kind of, we kind of really didn't care what happened, like we were just like, let's just Let's just do whatever we want because because you know this isn't getting any easier so you know if people like it then they'll like it and if they don't then whatever yeah i don't know i, I kind of had this uh this outlook like this was going to be you know the last thing that we do more or less when we were making it because i you know like like Bruce said like the monarchy cycle wasn't stellar it was very hard for us to get through and then uh you know making owls was just we were just we were enjoying what we were writing as we were writing it and we thought it was good um but at the same time it was a departure and uh from our our typical style and you know it was certainly a a risky move for us i guess in in whatever modern metal scene we we situate ourselves into I mean, we thought for sure we would get laughed at for for putting clean singing and uh, saxophones on a death metal. On a, a, because up until that point, we had very much been a, a very heavy death metal band, and then all of a sudden, now we have keyboards and strings and saxophones and singing, and all you know. Over the course of one album, we made this huge change. So we thought everybody was going to laugh at us, basically. To see people react so po positively, it's 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 affirming, like a. Uh, it it reminds me that you know when you when you like when you take the the leaps and the, and the artistic artistic uh, jumps that you want to make sometimes it pays off sometimes it doesn't for people but I guess we're just lucky. <laughs> on this album, I mean, we finally embarked on uh, our first true like headlining tours. Um, so we had never fully, we had no, never headlined in the United States, a full United States tour, 
Um, and we had never, I mean, we had only opened uh, in Europe and, and in the UK uh, up until this record came out. And then all of a sudden, once the record came out, we came over here once as an opening band and the next time we were here, we were headlining. So I would say that uh, that, that was like a big, um, big jump for us, you know, going from this you know opening band slot to all of a sudden having like a very successful headlining tour with you know a lot of the dates selling out that was a huge surprise to me uh and you know something that i'm proud of you know just these are all things that we never really thought would happen for us i guess and now all of a sudden it, it happened all at once after releasing this record that we thought nobody would like so it's been kind of weird doing those bigger tours and making those moves is the main success i think the other thing that I'm really proud of us for doing is performing the whole record live, uh, front to back on two tours, uh, and you know, doing it in a way that I think works. <laughs> like I think we pulled it off fairly decently, at least that's what. Keyboards and saxophone. Yeah, right on stage. Yeah, we. I mean, I was really proud of us for doing that, and I. Th I think it's a you know just a taste of what what's to come. For from uh, for us from us as a live band too, it's a step in the right direction. I feel like so that's what I'm most proud of. I have to give credit where credit's due. Uh, the the guy that planted the seed for that with me is uh, the guitar player of Archspire, Dean Lamb, and we made the announcement that we were going to be doing a headlining tour in the United States, but we hadn't announced that we were going to play the whole record. And he said to me. He's like, well, why don't you just play the whole record? He's like, that's what everybody wants anyway. He's like, bring us, bring a saxophone player, play the whole record. And I, and I, and I kind of just, we kind of just thought about it for a little while, and we're like, huh? Yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess we should probably do that. <laughs> I think, I mean, it's something that I had always wanted to do. I want, like, brought that up as as a thing, and everybody was kind of like, I don't think we could make that happen like what are you like the response for our record was really good and people kept you know all the response was just how much they liked the record as a whole it wasn't about how much they liked this song or that song so it made sense to me to to to, to give them give the people what they want so to speak yeah fuck dean anyway yeah fuck dean. he's an asshole <laughs> <laughs> We're working on on music, trying to keep it pretty close to the chest, like we did with Owls. Like we didn't we didn't show any footage of ourselves, like um, like in the studio or writing or any like little snippets. We didn't we didn't tease anybody anything because I think that I don't know. I consider that spoilers. If I want to if I want a band if I want to hear new music from a band, I want to hear it when they put it out in the package that they want me to hear it in and then that context and in that time frame that's intended you know because otherwise you're kind of doing a disservice to the artist i think i think in the age of instant gratification you know everybody wants these little 30 second instagram updates and whatever of what a band's up to but i mean for us i don't know it's not that's uh, you know when it's done it's done you know kind of thing with us and and when it's ready people will hear it so we're keeping it close <laughs> 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 <laughs>